Okay, fourth graders, today is Thursday, September 5th, and instead of doing Eureka Math today, we're going to skip over, we're going to move over to do Go Math, um, just because I like the way Go Math explains this concept a little bit better. Um, today, because I'm not here, you're watching this video to learn your math lesson, so I want to remind you to pause the video throughout so that you can take notes and fill in your work on your packet, in your packet. Okay, so again, today we're doing Go Math 1.4, and the learning goal is by the end of today's math lesson, you should be able to use what you know about place value to help you round numbers. You should have talked about the problem of the day with your substitute today. So let's move on to today's lesson. Okay, if we look at the unlock the problem part, it says during May 2008, the Mount Rushmore National Monument in South Dakota welcomed 138,202 visitors. A website reported that about 100,000 people visited the park during that month. Was that, was the estimate reasonable? Okay, so the first thing we have to figure out is what is the question asking? Well, the question is asking us to determine whether or not that estimate was reasonable. And the important information, let's go ahead and circle it together, is that the, altogether the exact number was 138,202 visitors, but that the website reported about 138,000 people. Okay, we have to figure out, is that a good estimate? The book reminds us that an estimate tells you about how many or how much. Okay, it is close to an exact amount. It's not the exact number, but it's close. So when we see the words round or estimate or about, we know that we're not talking about the exact amount. We're talking about a number that's easier to think about in our heads that is close to the real amount, okay? So when we have to round or estimate or find a number that's about the, the exact amount, one way we can do it is by using a number line. To use a number line, we have to think about, and we're rounding to the nearest 100,000. We have to find the 100,000s it is between. Well, the exact number is 138,000. So the 100,000 that is close to it, but lower than less than that is 100,000. And the 100,000 that is above it, but closest, is 200,000. So we know that 138,202 is going to be somewhere in between 100,000 and 200,000. So now we can use a number line to see which 100,000 is closest to. 100,000 is right here, and 200,000 is all the way over here. We know right in the middle of that is 150,000. Okay? And if 138,202 is over here, it is closer to 100,000 than it is to 200,000. 138,202 is closer to 100,000 than to 200,000. So 100,000 is a reasonable estimate for 138,202. Pause the video here to take some math notes and to jot down your thinking at this point. Just to recap, we had to know that the number halfway in between 100,000 and 200,000 is 150,000, okay? And knowing the halfway point helps us because we know that 138,000 is less than 150,000. So it is less than halfway, which means it's closer to the lower end, which in this case was 100,000, than to the upper end, which was 200,000. Take some time right now, pause the video, and explain in your own words how knowing the halfway point helped us find which 100,000, 138,202 is closest to. Pause the video and fill in the, your answer for question number two. Now let's talk about another way. We can also use what we know about place value to help us round numbers. In this case, it says Mount Rushmore is located 5,725 feet above sea level. About, there's that word about. Remember the word about tells us that we need to estimate. We're not finding an exact answer now. We are finding an estimate. About how high is Mount Rushmore above sea level to the nearest thousand? Here it's telling us we're rounding it to the thousands place. To, to round a number to the nearest thousand, again, we're going to start in the same exact way. We have to find the two thousands that our exact number is in between. Well, our exact number is 5,725. So the lower end would be 5,000 and the upper end would be 6,000. Okay, now, 
Whenever we round using place value, I want you to circle the thousands place or circle the place that we're trying to round to. Because it's telling us to round to the thousands place, we're gonna circle the thousands place and we're gonna underline, we'll draw a line under the place value position to the right, which in this case is seven. We think to ourselves, the digit in the hundreds place is seven. So seven is more than the midway point, which would be five. We can always think of five as that magic number because it's exactly, 500 is exactly in between 5,000 5, and 6,000, right? 5,500 is the midway point, exactly halfway between 5,000 and 6,000. Seven is more than five. So 5,725 is more than, it's past the midway point. So it is closer to 6,000 than to 5,000. So Mount Rushmore is about 6,000 feet. 6,000 would be the correct estimate to the thousands place. Pause your video now and see if you can answer question number three and four. The answers are gonna come up in just a couple minutes, in a couple seconds here, so pause it right now before the answers come up. Pause, go. Okay, here's your answer so you can check your thinking. 75,000 is the number that is halfway between 70,000 and 80,000. And for question number four, 75,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 80,000 because if you take a look at this math idea over here, it says when a number is exactly halfway, which 75,000 is exactly halfway between two rounding numbers, you always round to the greater number. So here's another way of thinking about it. 75,000 is somewhere in between, it's a, not somewhere, it's exactly halfway in between 70,000 and 80,000. But because it is the halfway point, the rule is whenever we have the halfway point, you round up to the greater number. In this case, 80,000. Okay, take some time now. Remember to solve these four questions. Remember, when you are rounding to a place, what I want you to always do is circle the place value that you are um, rounding to, in this case, the 10,000s, and underline the place value to the right, in this case, the thousands. Okay, because it tells us, okay, four is less than the midway point, which is five. So this is gonna round down. So it's gonna, it's closer to 60,000 than it is to 70,000. Pause the video right now. Again, I will, the answers will appear in just a couple seconds. So you gotta pause it right now before you check your answers. Just simply copying the answers is not going to help your math thinking. You know that, so pause it now so that you can check your answers in just a min few minutes. Okay, go ahead and check your answers. One thing I want you to notice is when we round, here we were rounding to the 10 thousands place, which means all the digits to the right smaller than the 10 thousands place turned into zeros, because we don't care about those. That's what makes it an estimate. For example, in question B, we were rounding to the 100 thousands place. So all the digits or all the place value positions smaller than the 100 thousands, we don't care about, just put zeros. Okay. In question C, we're rounding to the thousands place, right? So you can see anything bigger than the thousands place, we want the numbers, but anything smaller or to the right of the thousands place, just fill in a zero. Okay, this is again what makes it an estimate. We're finding, it makes the numbers easier to think about in our heads, which is why we estimate in the first place. Okay, fourth graders, now what I want you to do is complete the rest of your packet on your own. You're gonna complete the share and show on your own and problem solving slash applications sections. It's on page 19 and 20 of your packet. The last two pages are for you to practice at home. Okay, so save those for home. When you're done with all your practice problems today in class, please come up and get a yellow exit ticket, complete it on your own, and turn it into your substitute teacher. Thanks.